back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'm just here to uh, react to another video that I saw from CV, uh, sorry, CTV today. Canadian food bank system is on the brink of collapse. So it's a pretty uh, short video, just a couple minutes. So let's uh, have a listen to that and then we'll react to it like uh, after like usual. Some new numbers on poverty in Canada come with a stark warning. If more isn't done, the food bank system nationwide could collapse. For some, a local food bank is a critical part of their safety net. CTV's Heather Wright reports. This is just part of the line outside a Toronto food bank today, where thousands of clients will shop this week, a number that keeps going up. As a single mother of uh, four kids, it's not easy for me. According to Food Banks Canada, one in four Canadians are experiencing food insecurity. While nearly half of those surveyed feel they are doing worse financially than they were a year ago. These are statistics Lee Soda sees every day. There are people who are uh, working, uh, fully employed and having to access the food bank. We have uh, seniors, we have newcomers, we have uh, students. Today, Food Banks Canada released its annual poverty report card, a look at the challenges facing Canadians and how well government... There's not even a single B. We're not doing enough as a country to make sure people are able to make ends meet right now. Most provincial governments received grades in the D range, while well, 7 out of 10 got... Not a single B minus even. ...for what the report called an insufficient approach to poverty reduction. A lack of affordable housing and stubbornly high food prices have created a perfect storm of need in many parts of the country. And there are concerns the system simply can't keep up. They cannot continue to meet the growing demands um, with the amount of food and donations that are coming through the doors. And even then, no system is designed for um, you know growth that, like we've seen. The report includes a number of policy recommendations, among them rent control and increasing social assistance. Building more houses is also needed, something the provinces and the federal government have promised, but which will take years. The report also found more young people are turning to food banks. Between February and April of this year, a quarter of those aged 18 to 24 went to a charity because they didn't have enough money to buy food. Heather, I mean, I mean this is just so. This is just so embarrassing. I mean, how many? How many? X's can you put over Trudeau's entire reign as prime minister and look, oh, he, he did that well, he did that well. It's like, no, it's an X. Did it poorly, did it poorly, all over the board. One in four people, including some who are working full time. That's not what, if you're working full time, you're supposed to be able to afford groceries and rent and a decent life. Even if you have an average job, you should be able to afford an average life and that's not happening. And now you're going to start seeing these food banks have to turn people away and they won't have any fucking food. Oh, better keep taxing it because of the climate. What? Let's starve our fucking people so I can continue to be a woke idiot. I mean, it's just disgusting. And then <laughs> they showed the map of the report card. All you see was D, 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 it's like, and then a couple C's sprinkled in. No, no province is doing well. It's all subpar or awful. And yet there are still 25% people who, percent of people who look at that and go, yeah, I'll vote for him again. Again, this is why not everyone should be able to vote. How stupid do you have to be? I mean, this is fucking insane. Oh my god, it's just so frustrating how you know these idiot these liberal idiots pretend, oh, we are so inclusive and we care about everyone. We believe in equality. You can't even give equal food. You can't distribute few, uh, food uh, equally. You can't you can't even manage that. If you believe in equality, then you know cuz you're you're so uh, worried about what people think, surely you hope people can eat, right? And they can't. Oh, man. And then, of course, the lady comes on who's the, I think she was with the, the CEO or the president of the food banks, and they can't meet demands. They're not getting enough food in, and the, the number of people who need the food are it's growing and growing and growing and growing. And, of course, what's, what's the solution that these idiots want? Socialism. You know what, asshole? 
instead of trying to turn Canada into a socialist country, why don't you pack your fucking bags and go live in one? And see how fast you come crawling back. You know why? Because it sucks there. Why do you think most people who migrate, especially to the southern parts of the United States, places from like Cuba, why do you think they go there to America? Because they don't like socialism. Anyone who could leave, did leave. Socialist systems. Nope. How about just free market capitalism and provide us the resources so that we can have it? Okay, if you see people you know, price gouging or you know doing anything immoral to make money, sure. Then you know, I'm not for more uh, immoral capitalism, but moral capitalism, right? Build a bunch of affordable housing. That's a pretty simple problem. They could have started doing that years ago, and they didn't. But now, now that they're in trouble, uh, trouble in the polls, what do they want to do? Oh, we're going to build four million houses in the next um, uh, five and a half years. What? That's multiple houses a minute. Anyone here in any major city see this happening? Just, oh man, look at all the houses they're building. And look, they're nice little starter family bungalows that are going to be 150, 200 grand. Nope. No one's seeing that anywhere. Socialism. Right. Again, pack your bags, moron, and go tell me how that feels. Tell me how it feels to be in a, in a, in a real oppressive government. Give me a break. How many people are going to die because they're not going to have any fucking food because this asshole? But typical liberals these days, right? They support everything bad. They support wokeism. They support war. And now they're going to support a guy who's going to starve people. Morons. Yeah, I, I really am. This is just, this just pisses me off. I got nothing else to say. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be back later with another video.